She is known for being a Sudanese fiction writer, essayist, and playwright based in Scotland. Recognized for her critically acclaimed work depicting the challenges faced by Muslim migrants in the West, she explores themes of identity, migration, and Islamic spirituality. Her name is Layla Abalila. In the realm of literature, one name stands out, Layla Fuad Abalila, a Sudanese-born writer whose impact on the literary world is undeniable. Abalila's journey began in Khartoum, Sudan, where she grew up before moving to Scotland in 1990. It was in Scotland that she embarked on her literary career, which has since seen her publish six novels and numerous short stories, translated into 15 languages. Her most renowned works, Minaret and The Translator, shed light on the experiences of Muslim women in the UK. These novels have garnered critical acclaim and were long-listed for prestigious awards such as the International Dublin Literary Award and the Orange Prize. Abalila's writing has been featured in esteemed publications like Harper's Magazine, Granta, The Washington Post, and The Guardian, solidifying her reputation as a prominent literary voice. Abalila's work delves into the challenges faced by Muslim migrants in the Western world, drawing from her own experiences as an immigrant. Themes of identity, multicultural relationships, the East-West divide, migration, and Islamic spirituality are interwoven throughout her prose. Her ability to tackle political issues with empathy and insight has earned her praise from literary giants such as J. M. Kutsi, Ben Okri, and Ali Smith. Abdulrazak Gurna commended her novel, River Spirit, for its extraordinary sympathy and insight, showcasing the profound impact of Abalila's writing. Layla Fuad Abalila's literary legacy serves as a testament to the power of storytelling in bridging cultural divides and fostering understanding. Her works provide a platform for marginalized voices, shedding light on the experiences of Muslim women in the UK and exploring the complexities of migration and identity. Abalila's prose captures the essence of human emotions and challenges societal stereotypes, leaving an indelible mark on the literary landscape. Layla Abalila's greatest literary achievement lies in her ability to draw inspiration from her own life experiences. Moving from Sudan to Scotland in 1990 proved to be the turning point in her career, as it ignited her passion for writing about Sudan and Islam, subjects that she believed were underrepresented in literature. Determined to challenge stereotypes about Muslims, Sudan, and immigrants, Abalila made a conscious effort to reflect the people she encountered and the places she lived within her stories. One of her notable works, the novel Lyrics Alley, is deeply rooted in her own family history. It tells the true story of her uncle, poet Hassan Awad Abalila, and the tragic accident that rendered him paraplegic in the early 1940s. Collaborating with her father, Abalila delved into her cousin's life to create the character of Nur, who serves as the novel's protagonist and draws inspiration from Hassan. Abalila's literary influences can be traced back to her childhood in Sudan. She credits Egyptian Nobel Prize laureate Naguib Mahfouz and Sudanese writer Taib Sali for shaping her early literary tastes. However, it was her move to Scotland that introduced her to new voices that would haunt her own writings. Jean Rhys and Anita Desai, in particular, left an indelible mark on her, inspiring her with their unique storytelling. Being an immigrant herself, Abalila found kinship with other writers who shared similar experiences. Authors like Abdulrazak Gurna, Doris Lessing, Bachi Amakita, and Adaf Suif, who migrated to Britain at a young age, resonated with her and influenced her writing. Additionally, she acknowledges the impact of Scottish writers such as Alan Spence and Robin Jenkins, who further enriched her literary journey. Layla Abalila's ability to weave personal experiences and diverse influences into her writing is what sets her apart. Through her stories, she challenges stereotypes, sheds light on underrepresented narratives, and leaves an enduring impact on her readers. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.